What's up? Do you have enough time to get all the things done that you plan on getting done? Do you always find that, you know, maybe you have free time at the end of the day because you finished everything? Is there or is there always something else? Well, today you're in luck. We're going to talk about how there is always something else. This is the Existential Stoic Podcast. I'm Danny. Here with you. Randy, what's up, Randy? Yo, Danny. Yeah, so we were just talking about this actually right before we recorded it. And like, that's why we came up with the idea. But like, it does feel like that, right? Like, it's like you never, I mean, maybe it is light, but it's like you're never finished, you know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. and it seems like no matter what you do everything you take on is adding all these new tasks maybe goals things you want to accomplish and we all want to do these things fast and it's like so your day just can fill up so quickly with like just stuff and it's like hard to navigate and manage and stay because I was just saying to you like I was having trouble focusing and it's like part of it is I think there is just so much going on and trying to get all that stuff which i'm happy about but trying to get all that done but also then do all the other things that i want to do and enjoy my life too you know like outside of like working it's hard to find that balance and like navigate it correctly <laughs> i agree it's it's a challenge because on the one hand you have all this stuff that you want to do but then all these things that you need to do it's not just simple they all like split off into a million other things and then you have all this stuff on your plate and it's overwhelming and then you're just like, I can't do all this. It's too much. So then you're like, okay, I got to prioritize. I'm just going to focus on this stuff. But then it's boring only to focus on one thing or two yeah. things. And so you start doing other things. And it's just like, ah, oh, yeah. Well, that's the, that's the pain in the ass of it, right? It's not like, you know, it's like if I want a drink, I can go get a drink. Salt. Right? But like most goals aren't like that. You know, it's not like you're not getting a drink and that's it. That's your goal. It's like they usually involve like, a process of learning of like many tasks to get to the final thing or whatever, you know, and these projects. And it's like, it's time consuming. And the more you add on, the more, you know, your brain's in many different places too. Cause I noticed that as well. Like, I feel like I solve so many problems when I'm not focused on things like in the background, but the more you add into it, it's like the more scattered your brain starts to get running in the background, trying to process all these different you know, problems, these background processes, these very computer lingo there, right? And like, mm -hmm. but I think, I think it gets like almost crowded and hard to concentrate. And then you have a hard time starting things because it's like, well, you have so much going on that it's like hard to kind of pick what am I going to focus on now? Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's challenging too, because there's so many, you know, with internet with social media, you're no longer competing with just your town. It's like literally you're competing with everyone on the face of the planet. And like, I just, I've been and listening too many to guy book darn on people. Some, yeah. <laughs> I've been listening to this book on some like computer people, people who are like, who've done amazing things with computers. And a very large proportion of them have some type of like ADHD where sure they can't pay attention to a whole bunch of stuff, but they can go like 18 to 20 hours in front of a computer working on one problem and it's not a big deal and it's just like most people can't function on this level like we compare ourselves with like elon musk and all these and steve jobs but like they clearly had issues going on to where like yes they were able to produce insane results but that's because they're not the typical person well, like it's because Warren they're willing Buffett, to the sacrifice who... everything else, right? I mean, that's the other thing. Like, they're sacrificing everything else in their life and working. But it's not even, it's not even like it's a choice for them. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's that's how they are in general. And, like, oftentimes it's because there's some type of spectrum thing going on. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, you know, it's funny. You look back. I mean, like, a lot of the greats, composers and stuff back in the day, they probably had something like that going on, too. Because, you know, it's. And it's fine, you know, that's going to happen. I think that's where you get these sort of breakout individuals who can really make wild changes because they just concentrate and focus on one thing really well. But it's, for most of us, it's not possible. And we have a lot going on that, you know, we have a lot of values in our life that we don't want to, that we don't want to let fall away. Like, you know, you have family, you have friends, you have, you know, other hobbies, maybe you have experiences you want to have, you know, things like that. And trying to fit all that in. And especially to nowadays, I feel like it's, and I'm sure this was always the case, but it's like you want things to happen so fast and things take time and it's just hard to 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 stay with it when they take time. Right. Because and not give up and persevere through that is very difficult sometimes, I think, to get to the end. And even when you get to the end, it's like then you're just starting. 
it's like I sometimes think about that like it's like because you know you, you imagine your head like um you know like your good life or your goals and like I think most of us think there's a point where we stop and like we have it but the reality is it just keeps going and like I think about that sometimes like it makes me tired almost you know like thinking about all the crap that you're gonna have to do from now until whenever the hell you die you know <laughs> it's like yeah so much stuff true true that's why uh, you remember the thing that i was talking about that analogy from the book where it's like if every time you sat down to eat eat you thought about all the things that you yeah. have to eat in your entire life like all the birthday cakes and all the barbecues and all the breakfasts you would just be like completely overwhelmed and just be like forget it this is a drop in the bucket it's it'd be a mountain of food a dude yeah if you yeah. think about like your entire like dietary oh needs stretched out over a hundred years oh god yeah, yeah. that would be the you're worst thing good. ever <laughs> and you yeah. just have to like eat what like no longer would i be like man i'm starving i would be like <laughs> oh, god, as please, much as no i can more. i gotta get through this thing but that's the funny part it's like i think that that is a good analogy though because it's like we don't we don't rush with food because we have a natural mechanism that tells us when we're full and stuff which is helpful But I Which think that's kind what's... of salty for most people. <laughs> well, yeah, but whatever. But like, you know, that said, I mean, there is a limit, right? There's a bio, yeah. there is a natural limit to how much you can eat at a certain point. And, yeah. but I think with other stuff, because we don't have that limit. And because when we look outside of ourselves at maybe like, you know, people that we admire or whatever, or other people that are doing this thing that we want to do, they're already far beyond us. And there's no clear way how to make that sort of, assessment to say when is enough say each day mm. or each time i sit down that'll get me there and we all want it to be now so it's like you the tendency is to put more in i think than less and that makes it hard too yeah i noticed recently that i have a really hard time having things undone that i need to do like i'll, I'll give an example so like let's say in a certain day there's a few things that i have to do a yeah, to-do list i Yeah, yeah, like a to-do list. And I can spread them throughout the entire day. But like, I have a very hard time relaxing and just being able to enjoy my day until I get all of them done. So I can't like, I can't like do one or two and then save the, the others for later in the day. Even though, even though I'm exhausted and I just want to take a nap, I'm like, I can't finish. I can't sleep until I finish doing all this stuff. And that causes a, a lot of issues. You know what? You know what helped? Actually, no, because I know exactly what you're talking about. Because I, I have a similar problem, but... I got a um I got a, a weekly planner. So it has like the it all the days on one side and then has a blank page on the other for each mm -hmm. week. And what I've been mm -hmm. doing now is I'll put like for each day I'll put like main things that I need to get done. And then on the side page I'll put like things for the week. Mm. And I found that's been a little helpful because it lets me like separate out like the the simple today daily tasks and then like the larger tasks, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's been a little helpful, a but one. obviously it's not a a solution because i still struggle <laughs> yeah it's a it's a bitch because like okay so here's the thing we're all gonna die yeah. like there's gonna be everything absolutely and here's the crazy and here's the kicker so we're all gonna die and all this really important stuff that we thought was so super important for us to get done Doesn't it's matter. gonna be undone and nobody's gonna care yep isn't that crazy you know <laughs> dude you know what's funny about that think about like uh when steve jobs died right that book was written about him and then has anybody heard about him talked about him nope not at all yeah the God. world moves on yeah it does very quick yeah. and that's the crazy part but like when we're living it it seems so important and i think to an extent it is right because like it's your life and you're trying to improve your life you want to get these things done you want to like and you want to see i think that's the hard part too like when you're trying to do things that like are for the betterment of your life you want to see the results right to kind of to kind of prove to yourself that it's right or that you're doing the right thing I think that's also part of it maybe is like that validation that this thing that I'm doing is validated because here's the results that I'm getting back that are clearly improving my situation, my life, whatever. Mm. And that's going to like, you know, somehow confirm my choices were right and my activities were right or actions were right. Mm -hmm. It kind of comes back to that whole thing about being contented. I know it's a bitch, isn't it? Yeah. It's really hard to be though. And there yeah. is always like, it's like, everything you do there's always so many other things and then you factor in all the obligations and pressures from out it's like there's just too much but it's funny too because like i noticed too like i'll 
on the days, rare times that I do take a day off or something, like I notice I'm, I'm, I seem to be much more excited to get back into it the next day. Like getting a break is good, but yet at the same time, it's really hard to take that break too. And that's the funny Mm thing. Like I know the values there, but it's so hard to do it because I feel like if I do, I'm falling behind from what, I don't know what the hell I'm measuring myself against, but like, like half the time I don't even know. It's but I feel like I'm falling behind and that's worse. <laughs> Dude, I'm right there with you. And a lot of it, I think, possibly is this grind culture where it's like no days off. If you take a day off, you're just like gonna be so far behind everybody. You're a else loser trying to be happy with mental health I and know, whatnot. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> but it, it is like I uh yeah. I was physically exhausted this week and I I like did not want to take a day off of working out because I was like, the plan is to do it all the freaking time can't take and i'm like maybe i just need to take a day off and rest because i'm just exhausted i think that's part of it right it's that it's that mentality like the grind mentality but also i think too just like that fear that you'll lose momentum Mm -hmm. that like one day off will immediately amount to all days off you know or like you know losing your steam and your progress and i think that is scary and it's so i think the other problem too is it's so easy to make false comparisons to other people like so easy and i i mean i f- catch myself doing it all the time too or like i'll be upset with myself and i'll be like well they're so far ahead or or that person's doing this and it's like but that but yeah of course they are because we've done totally different things you know it's like we've had different and that's just one aspect of their life yeah, exactly right and you're not looking at the whole life of the person and everything else involved nor are you considering all the things you've done either that might have been different from what they've done that they didn't do you know i think it's easy to get caught in that trap and that also doesn't help either. It's like this, this cycle of, you know, that makes you then want to do more. And that, you know, I don't know. It's very difficult. Yeah. yeah. So how do we how do we decide on what's important and what to actually and if to if to even care? Should we care at anything? I don't know. Maybe we should. <laughs> it's so hard. That's you know, that's I think thing too, maybe it's like also because there's this things move so fast now. And like, you know, that grow or die mentality, like everything has to be, everything has to be moving forward and up and expanding and growing and more and more. And it's like really hard to maintain that, especially as an individual. So maybe it's like stepping back too and just, I don't know, gratitude I think would be helpful. Taking, forcing breaks would be helpful maybe. Because we've done that, that has helped. Like scheduling time for breaks and like hobbies and other things can be helpful because like then it's part of my schedule. And I notice mm-hmm. I'm more likely to do it if I schedule it in and instead of it being one off. Cause like, I don't know, if this will make, maybe this won't make me sound crazy. I don't know. But like, imagine it's like, like, you know, today's like Labor Day, right? So like, uh, I'll give you a very clear example. Yesterday, like I, yesterday I had planned to do stuff today, but then like, I forgot it was a holiday cause I don't pay attention to the holidays. So I rarely ever do. And, uh, but everybody's off. So they were like, oh, let's go to this place. And I, in the back of my head, I was like, Part of me was like, oh, but I was going to do all that stuff today. And then the other part of me was like, but you know what? Who cares? Like, I should go do that because this is also important. You know, but I catch myself doing that a lot. And it's like, because so scheduling does help me sometimes because I can, I know it's coming rather than it being like spontaneous, if that makes sense. Yeah. Life is a confusing thing. It is. It's really hard (laughs) sometimes. Yeah. If only yeah. there was like a book or like no, a, a guide. Like a holy book that we that just yeah. had a whole bunch of parables. Well, here's the worst part, right? It's <laughs> like, you know, every generation, right? You're born, you're taught by your community, your family. They don't know what the hell's going on. They don't know what to do. So it's like, it's just like we keep trying to correct, but like nobody knows. <laughs> so it's just this big mess. Mm hmm. And oh, and also by the time you actually kind of figure things out, you die and you really can't pass anything on anyways. Like I was thinking, I, I was thinking about that the other day, like all the time and effort we've spent learning stuff. And like, I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to get old and I'm probably going to be really good at this, but all the time and effort and energy that I spent learning this stuff, it's all going to go to nothing because there's no way I'll be able to pass it all on everything yeah. that I've learned. So, yeah. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's yeah. just part of life, though. But you know, it's weird. It's like, I think that 
you know, by doing things and contributing to things, you're still pushing things forward, even in a small way. So I think, I don't know, I think part of it still lives on in a sense in that, you know, like those fields, those areas that you're part of still keep going, right? And I think that's the way we kind of contribute to human society, broadly speaking, like each of us, right? Because, you know, we put some effort in, we do some things, we contribute to something, that area moves on and keeps going even when we die. And so, you know, whatever. Maybe that's a good way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, nothing matters. And, you know, we just are trying to make it matter. There it is. Yeah. Hard. Well, there's yeah. always something else, right? And there always will be. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed this episode, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. Check us out on YouTube or wherever you get podcasts. Please like, share, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Even leave a review. We'll be back later this week with another episode. Until then, though, later, Andy. Later, Danny. <laughs>